Earlier this month, Aptera had a webinar where they revealed a render of the Gamma prototype. In this render, we were able to see a change in the number of solar panels. Let's take a look at what that might mean. All right, so when they showed the solar, I was wondering, what does that actually mean for how much range we are gonna get? And so I went back and looked at, and on the reservation page, you can see the alpha vehicle solar package that they kind of had here, or the early solar package that they were thinking. And I counted how many panels there were on the car in the different sections. So on the hood, we have 26 panels. On the dash, we have 22 panels. On the roof, we have 50 panels. And on the tail, we have 86 panels. That gives us a total of 184 panels. At 700 watts, that leaves us with about 3.8 watts per panel. So if each one of these panels are giving 3.8 watts to get the 700 watts, then if we look at the gamma render, find out how many panels we have, we should be able to figure out how many more watts of power we're getting in solar. And so we have 30 uh, and added four panels on the um, hood of the car. We have minus two on the dashboard. We get six panels on the roof of the car added on, and I'm not sure about the tail or the hatch because they didn't give us any solar panels on it. So I think they might actually be able to add some, and I'll show you that in a second. So looking at that, if we still get that 3.8 watts per panel, we now have 192 panels, giving us a total of 729.6 watts. So we gain 29.6 watts, that's giving us about a 4.2% increase in solar if these panels give out that same 3.8 watts per panel. Let's see where we exactly uh, gained and lost these panels. So we see we gain two in the front, lose these two here, gain six in the back. This actually gets a little bit longer from alpha to gamma. And so I think we might actually be able to get two panels here as well. That's where we might be able to even see a little bit more. But again, for now, we're just leaving it at 86. Now, if we get that 729.6 watts, we divide it by 700 watts, we can find that increase 4.2%. If we got 40 miles off the original 700 watts and we increase it by 4.2, that gives us an extra 1.68 miles at the top theoretical uh, per day. Now, getting 1.6 extra miles a day for 365 days is 613.2 bonus miles. Now, nobody's going to get 40 miles a day or get that maximum amount every single day. But even if we cut that in half, that's still about 306 miles, which is pretty good, I think, if we get it for the same price or even the tiniest little of increase. Hopefully, it's still the same price. So if we get bonus solar miles um, and the price doesn't have to change, that would be great. Now there's a chance though that what they did was they had to add more solar panels in order to reach that 700 watts. So if that's the case and we have 192 panels now giving us the 700 watts, then that means they found panels that were only 3.65 watts per panel. They couldn't get that 3.8. With how proud they were of adding the extra panels though, I have a feeling this is more likely that we have some sort of increase. Maybe not this amount, but we have some sort of increase by these extra panels. And I bet that's what they end up announcing soon. But We'll see. It seemed like that might have been their surprise, though. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe. Also, if you want an Aptera, you can reserve one with the code down below, and you save $30 on your Aptera. You save $30, I get some money off on my Aptera, uh, but it helps us both. And then you get your own referral code, and you can start referring people to get Apteras and get your own rewards. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, you guys. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and as always, take care.